Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to look at how to arrange fractions in order. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so if you've been following this series, you know, in the previous video, I was actually showing you folks how to figure out which fraction is bigger. We're pretty much going to do the same thing here, except we've got to do it for three fractions here. Now, looking at the first question there, we've got 5, 10 and 20. Now, we know that uh, when we look at it, those are all multiple, like 10 and 20, they're multiples of 5. So all we need to do is convert the first fraction, 3 fifths, into something over 20, 5 tenths as something over 20, and then we can compare it. So first thing I'm going to take is 3 fifths. If I take 3 fifths and I want to put that as something over 20, I know that I've got to multiply by 4. So I've got to do 3 times 4. And what I'm going to get is 3 times 4 is actually 12 because 5 times 4 is 20 for the denominator. Next, I'm going to do 5 over 10. So I've got 5 over 10 and I want to convert it so that 20 is in the denominator. And to do this, I'm going to do 10 times 2, which means I have to do the same thing for the numerator and I get 5 times 2 and I'm going to get 10 over 20. So what we have here is we've got 12 over 20 as this number here. We have 10 over 20 as 5 over 10. So if we want to put these numbers in order, we've got to do 10 over 20 first, then 11 over 20, and then 12 over 20. So I'm going to write that down first, right? So I'm going to go 10 over 20. I'm going to write down 11 over 20. And I'm going to write down 12 over 20. Now, 10 over 20, that's the number that's actually highlighted in blue. So that's going to be 5 over 10. 11 over 20 stays as is. And then 12 over 20 is the same number as 3 fifths. So what I've done here is I've actually put these three fractions in order from the smallest to the largest. I probably should have said that in the beginning of the question, but that's all right. You get the idea. All right, let's have a look at uh, question number two. Now, question number two, what we've got here is five, three, and seven. We need a lowest common multiple for five, three, and seven. Now, let's have a look at question number two here. Now, with question number two, what we've got is in the denominator, we've got five, three, and seven. Now, one thing to be aware of is if you look at the denominator, all those three numbers are prime numbers. Now, if they are prime numbers, um, you can just multiply it them by each other, and that'll be your lowest common multiple. So in this case, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do five times three times seven, and that's my lowest common multiple between those three numbers, because they're prime numbers, right? Now, if it's um, like the previous one, we had like composite numbers, so it's slightly different. But with this one, we're just going to do 5 times 3 times 7 to get 105. So we need to convert each of those numbers with the denominator as 105. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down 3 over 5 first. And I want this as a denominator where it's going to be 105. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the denominator by times 3 and times 7. And I got to do the same for the numerator times 3 and times 7. So when I do this, I am going to get 3 times 3 times 7. That is 63. That's going to be in the numerator for the first one. Then I've got to do that for the 2 thirds. So 2 thirds equals 105. But this time, I've got to actually multiply by the other two numbers that are remaining, which in this case is multiplied by 5 and multiplied by 7. So if I do times 5 times 7 for the numerator, 2 times 5 is 10, 10 times 7 is 70. Then I've got the last number, which is 3 over 7. And again, I want this with the denominator of 105, which means I need to multiply by 3 and 5. And i got to repeat the same for the numerator. And when I do that, 3 times 3 times 5, that's going to give me 45. So if I was to uh, put this in order, I am going to have number one. No, that's not number two. This is going to be number two, and this is going to be three. So we've got two, three, one. So when I, if I want to put this in order, I would write this as three over seven. Then I've got three over five, and finally, 
I have two thirds. So folks, that is just a really kind of a quick couple of examples to show you folks how to arrange fractions in order. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision. And as always, thank you for watching.